This video will illustrate the procedures for the removal and replacement of the TCU-1 with the new TCU-800. The tools required for removal and installation are an insulated Phillips screwdriver, an insulated flathead screwdriver, and diagonal cutters. Before removing the TCU-1, record the TCU's current configuration. These settings will be used to configure the new TCU-800. To get started, power down the unit using the soft touch on-off button. Disconnect the backup battery. Turn off all circuit breakers before attempting to remove the TCU. As an additional safety measure, remove the transient filter shield to isolate three-phase power. Remove the ground screw with the insulated Phillips screwdriver, then remove the ground cable. Disconnect the P-connectors. Use the insulated flathead screwdriver to gently pry the P1 and P2 connectors free. Do not pull on the P-connector wires to remove them. Remove the address strap. Disconnect the RF pigtail. Lift the snap-in lever on the top to release the TCU. Tilt the TCU forward and remove it from the bottom clips. Use the diagonal cutters to remove the retention clips from P1 and P2. Now that the TCU-1 has been successfully removed, we can install the TCU-800. Place the TCU-800 on the snap-in mount. Lift the snap-in lever, then push the unit back towards the mounting bracket. When flush against the control panel, lower the snap-in lever to secure the TCU-800. Locate the ground screw near the back of the unit on the right side. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the ground screw, then install the ground cable. Tighten the screw. Next, reconnect P1 and P2. Do not install the address strap, as it is not used with the new TCU-800. Reconnect the RF pigtail. Place the HOA switches in the OFF position. Once the HOA switches are in the OFF position, reconnect the battery to power up the TCU-800. When the TCU is first powered on, a display test will run. When the display test is complete, the TCU-800 will boot up. Boot up takes 30 seconds. Because the unit is on battery power, the TCU-800 will display AC fault active. Acknowledge the alarm. There will be a phase voltage alarm because the TFS is still removed. Acknowledge this alarm. The next procedure is to restore the AC power. Install the transient filter shield and turn on the circuit breaker for the TCU-800. The AC and phase fault alarms will clear. After the TCU-800 is powered up and operational, the unit will need to be configured with the correct station and pump control settings. If you have any questions, contact the DFS service team at 321-259-5009 or by email at service at dataflowsys.com.